everyone so today we will discuss about the cyclostome subdivision so far we have discussed about the general characteristics of cyclostomes so what are the subdivisions the cyclostomes or cyclostomata can be divided into two orders named petromyzonti forms and myxini forms so these names are derived from the type that is petromyzon and myxi there are two representative example that we will take up to discuss the characteristics of petromyzonti form and myxini form okay so here we will discuss in two panels in first panel i'll write the characteristics of petromyzonti form and in second panel i'll write the characteristics of myxini forms so be ready with two columns on left side you write petromyzonti forms and on right side you write myxini forms if possible you can draw these two diagrams okay so first thing that we should know about the petromyzonti form and myxini forms is the habitat the petromyzons are petromyzonti forms are marine as well as fresh water okay so they are marine as well as fresh water but the myxins the myxini forms they are exclusively marine animal they are marine only remember so myxini forms are marine only but petromyzons are fresh water some forms are there that's why they are marine as well as fresh water now come to the external features so you focus on the mouth here you see this structure here is the mouth so you focus here okay in myxini form as well as in petromyzonti forms so what we can see or what we can observe easily that in case of petromyzon the mouth is on ventral side however in case of myxini form it is on terminal side it is clear to all of you it is on dorsal side in case of sorry it is on ventral side in case of petromyzonti form but it is terminal in case of myxini form so this is the striking feature that you can easily identify when the specimen is given to you now come to the second thing that what we can observe the mouth is funnel like it is like a funnel in case of petromyzonti form but it is not like funnel in case of myxini form there is no funnel like structure that's why the feeding habit is different the petromyzonti forms are considered as parasitic forms and they have teeth in their oral cavity as well as they have raptorial trunk that we have discussed so what the difference we can observe between the two that is mouth is ventral in case of petromyzonti form however it is dorsal uh, terminal in case of myxini form second thing it is suctorial and funnel like structure besets with many many teeth in case of petromyzonti form however there is no teeth rather in myxini form they have four pair of tentacles so these are the two characteristics that we can compare between the two animals now come to the nostril so nostril if you focus here 
in case of petromyzon it is on tarsal side here but in case of mixin it is terminal here it is okay so in case of mixin it is terminal nostril is terminal but in case of petromyzon it is on dorsal side and one very important structure that developed in petromyzon as well as in, in mixin neforms that is nasohypophyseal sac so what is nasohypophyseal sac it is a sac like structure that develop from the nostril and here like this and this is the digestive tract suppose but in case of mixini form if you see suppose this is digestive tract and the sac developed from here and here so there is connection between the nasohypophyseal sac and pharynx in case of mixin mixin ke case mein kya hoga bhai there is connection between the hypophyseal sac as well as the pharynx but in case of petromyzon it is a blind sac there is no connection between the pharynx and the nasohypophyseal sac but in case of mixin it is fused with the pharynx now come to the another striking feature that we can easily identify if you move from anterior to posterior what we can see there are certain structures that are common in case of petromyzon but they are not common in case of mixini forms here we can see these fins are there so dorsal fin is prominent in case of petromyzon but in case of mixin it is feebly developed or absent now come to gill pouches so in case of petromyzon there are seven gill pouches and seven gill slits so you can easily count here 1 2 3 3 up to 7 but in case of mixini forms gill pouches are only 6 to 15 but gill slits are 1 to 15 how come this difference this difference is because the first six pouches in mixin they fuse to form a common outlet in case of mixin remember the gill pouch gills here gills are present in pouch that's why the name what is name yes asis yes marsipo bronchi marsipo bronchi so but here the gill pouches and gill slits number is same in case of petromyzonti form but it is quite different in case of mixini form so first six pouches they fuse to uh, give rise to common out now come to the next structure that is dorsal and ventral root of nerve if you can recall in cephalocordates when we have discussed in case of cephalocordates dorsal and ventral roots are separate similar is the condition in case of petromyzon the dorsal and ventral root of his spinal nerves they are separate but in case of mixin there is a common root their origin is same means suppose if this is spinal cord so this is dorsal and this is ventral but in case of mixin suppose this is spinal cord 
so both are coming out from the same place means they are united they have common root but here the roots are separately arising in case of atomizon but in case of mixin they are united it is clear to all of you now we will move to further structure that is semi circular canal semi circular canal that is uh, these are the first animal where the semi circular canal that arises in chordates so here we have two semi circular canals in case of petromyzon but in case of mixin only a single only a single semi circular canal so here we can see here what we can see there are two semi circular canals like this and like this but in case of the mixin there is only one semi circular canal okay now the fertilization when we have discussed in case of petromyzon the fertilization is external same is the case in case of mixin but the development in petromyzon t form is indirect whenever i say indirect development it proceeds through larval stage so here we have amocytous larva so amocytous larva is present in petromyzon t form okay but in case of mixin there is direct development there is no larval stage here in case of petromyzon there is prolonged larval stage even sometimes 7 years because they so what type of migration yes please asutosh yes yes please anadrama type of migration okay and here the larva is amocytous larva and we have several examples there are 30 species that is known in case of petromyzon t form but only 15 species are known in case of mixini forms i hope these are the basic characteristics and the basic difference between the petromyzon t forms and mixini form on the basis of these character we can easily classify or place the animal in their appropriate systematic position thank you everyone for watching us and you may like us share us subscribe and uh, comment for improvement thank you